Good day everyone, today I'd like to show you a really good dungeon to get started with transmog farming and selling. I'm currently using my speed rogue, I will link the video of my speed set explanation in the description down below. I will show you the entrance to the dungeon resolve and crawl, it's located in the thousand part of the barrens. Take care to enter the correct one because there is another one close by called resolve and dawns. So first off let's show you the route that I will take running the dungeon and explain some things. We'll just pull the first group easily, kill the boss, and just keep going straight at. It's the only path that you can take. Keep killing the mobs. Don't forget to loot everything. Kill the mobs. Obviously, um, you don't have to kill them. You can just aggro them and just pull them all together. I think that's a lot faster. If you just put, run through them and uh, attack them all, like um, aggro all of them, pull them keep going, then go around the corner, kill that boss, hide behind that wall, wait till they are there, and then just use your AoE spell to just obliterate them. Next up is, you will use a, a shortcut, jump on the route, and then jump right there, kill the boss, and loot everything, keep on going forth. Obviously step in the trap, then just keep going forward, on to the next boss, kill the boss, it's super easy. Loot the boss and then on to this. Now here is one spot for chests, I will show all the specific chest spots in this dungeon further in the video, so don't worry. Keep going further, further. kill this big guy, keep going, I recommend pulling um, those small bats by just killing, uh, uh, by just hitting one of them, then let the other ones fly to you and kill them. Uh, that one up there is bugged. Um, don't waste your time going in this corner because those ghost boars don't drop anything. It's useless if you go there. Next up is you kill the frogs. You just go ahead, kill them all. And this rare frog at the end is, has a 100% drop chance to drop a blue item, which can be pretty damn expensive, depending on your luck. It can also um, drop a pet, which can sell for a decent amount of gold if you're lucky. Um, yeah kill the end boss and we are done. I will show you um, two ways to just like leave this dungeon as quick as possible. First one is to do it with the group finder. You just uh, so you just uh, create a group, type in whatever you want and then you just leave the group. It's easy. After that you will um, be teleported out of the dungeon in one minute. So it would be best to like start leaving that group before like I will show you a decent spot depending on your speed you will have to change that but um, you just leave the group before like entering the, the the last cave the second method is just running out you just follow the path shown in the video it's it's not that slow but obviously you just have to step in the trap and yeah that's that's how you should do that so here are the four spots of chests in the video. First one is right here, right after the first boss. Second one is right after the third boss. This is what I meant with pulling everything and then just AoE them down. Rogue is pretty bad for AoE, but um, I use it for the chests. And it's because it's also pretty fast as well. So now we will get the shortcut. There we go. Kill that boss, loot it, and there is the second chest. The third chest is right after the third boss, a uh, fourth boss. Also shown before, behind that pillar. Exactly. Loot it, and there we go. The fourth one is behind the stone guy. 
And yeah, that's basically it. Um, this is the this is the timing that I used for with my rogue because he's pretty fast and I could just uh, leave <laughs> and it went the wrong way um, and just kill everything and you can see the timer going down 30 seconds but it's more than enough time for me to finish the dungeon um, in time so yeah this is how you maximize your speed and your profit in the end so I ran a complete five runs with the add-on Loot Appraiser installed, and this is what we ended up with, 150k. Of course, uh, if you have a rogue or a blacksmith, definitely open the lockboxes. There might be a treasure inside. Um, but I will just, let's, let's say, a disclaimer, you know. Um, the value that we currently see is, like... Uh, I would say it's wishful thinking. Um, we didn't make 150k in 28 minutes. Um, transmog farming takes most of the time a long time to sell. So be prepared to list uh, some of those auctions 50 to maybe even a 100 times before selling them. However, since the listing price is pretty cheap for low level items, it's still pretty profitable. So, um, if you manage to find a rare blue or even an epic, you will get a huge chunk of money if you if you can sell it. That's the the key point. If you can sell it, transmog farming is a patient, low income farm. So bear that in mind. Anyway, I hope you got lucky and get some nice gold from this dungeon farm. Please like and subscribe to the channel, so you won't miss any future uploads. Bye bye.